All right. So this next one, uh, don't say the name. I got to say it because I know I know it's popular and you're going to go, oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. No, so this next one I saw, is a, it's a second season. Okay. I saw the first season and I'm going to tell you the truth. I didn't like the first season so much. I thought that there were parts of it that were good, but the first season for me, the main character, I think that they did him a disservice. We'll just say that in certain aspects. You, you liked the first season? I love the first season. <laughs> okay, I was I was disappointed in basic, in, in, you know, and I think this is some, I think there's like two camps. I think there's people who liked it, and then mm -hmm. there's people who didn't like the things that I didn't like about it. And then there's like a spectrum of that where like some people still liked it, some people thought it was okay, and some people thought it was terrible. I didn't think it was terrible. I just I was disappointed because I wanted to see more power from the main character. I wanted to see more. Mm. You know, and they kind of supplanted him with the other character. But anyway, we'll check it out. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> we'll check it out. Um, let's, uh, yeah, we're watching the trailer for. Mike's After Action Reviews is proud to partner with Purple Works Nutrition. They sell pre-workout manufactured right here in the U.S. It has no artificial flavors or preservatives and has a simple, effective, and easy to understand list of ingredients unlike some other pre-workouts and supplements. Each scoop contains 200 milligrams of high quality caffeine, three grams of creatine, and 1.5 grams of high-end carnosine beta alanine to grant the energy and produce the strength needed to crush your workouts, and vitamin D and C to aid in and support immune health, muscle health, and tissue repair. You can find this pre-workout at purpleworksnutrition.com. You will find a link in the description down below. Purple Works Nutrition also sells Muratino brand coffee on their website. So if you are interested in award-winning coffee blends imported from Italy, you can find that there as well. Marvel Studios Loki Season 2 Official Trailer Disney Plus. Uh, coming at us from Marvel Entertainment, we're going to like the video. It's almost time. Watch the brand new trailer for Marvel Studios Loki Season 2 and Original Series streaming October 6th on Disney Plus. Um, what is this? Oh, I'm going to go like this. I want to check that out. Excuse me, get distracted. Uh, okay, yeah, so this is what I was talking about. In the first season, I felt like, so the thing, like, there's certain powers Loki has that make him ridiculously powerful, and, um, mm -hmm. you never, we have not gotten to see them in the movies or any of the series. Like, he's super strong. People don't realize, like, yeah. Loki, Loki is stronger than Captain America. He probably could fight the Hulk, like, mm -hmm. physically in the comics anyway. Yeah, so. yeah, and um, and he's he's definitely got a lot of character growth. Yeah, well, he's bulletproof too, even. And there's scenes in the first one where you see him fighting, mm. and you're like, wait, but he would just be able to. He's super strong. You could just like throw that guy around or whatever, or use magic. But I don't know. You know, uh, I don't like that his magic is much weaker in the MCU than it is in the comic books because it would have been cool to. See. Anyway, I, I'm going off on a little bit of a tangent. I'm just saying I liked the first season enough but I was disappointed in the character. Mm. Probably the best MC, uh, Disney Plus series so far, though, because I had a huge amount of problems with WandaVision. I thought Loki was... Yeah, okay. yeah, this this is one of their, their A-level, yeah. yeah. you know, series that they've come out with. Yeah. Well, definitely better than She-Hulk, so... <laughs> all right, all right, we got a 2 minute 25 second trailer. Are you ready? Yep. Hey guys, some of you may know that I was in the army for 10 years. Uh, I have since left. That makes me a veteran. Um, but uh, I have a veteran buddy. Some of you know him as Salty Skipper. Some of you know him as his real name, uh, Stephen Russell. Him and I have both um, are trying to start our own business, me with my YouTube channel and him with a comic book. So check out what he has to say about that right now. Hey guys. My name's Steven Russell. I'm the uh, story creator and artist for the series called Tales of Nihilism. It's about a normal person living in a world of superheroes and how they would have to navigate and react to that world. The series is digitally up on Global Comics, and you can purchase PDFs. Uh, we will also be uh, premiering the first physical copy at Plastic City Comic Con. August 19th in Fitchburg, Massachusetts, near Boston. So if you want to come out and support the series or you want to purchase some ad space in the physical comic book, 
feel free to reach out at uh, Tales of Nihilism. Thank you. Here we go. Owen Wilson. I met him in Rome once. Oh, really? Hello? He just rode past me on a bike. He a stopped and looked at me. Situation we wanted to run by you. Like that. Yes. Wow. Great to see you again. Whoa, what the heck? That, that's what's been happening. Wow. Time slipping. Wait, time, you know that? Yeah. You've seen that? Yeah. Can you fix Wait that? a minute. No. It's impossible. Is that the guy from Indiana Jones? Uh, that, he, I you don't remember, know. He did the Oscar. He got an Oscar recently for Everything Everywhere All at Once, the Asian, the little Asian kid from The Little yeah, Goonies. Yeah, yeah. Isn't that him? No, but we just saw it happen. That might be. Yeah. Oh, one second. I'm sorry. I, yeah. Can you fix that? No. It's impossible to time slip in the TVA. I know, but we just saw it happen. Yeah. Huh, interesting. <laughs> I've been pulled through time between the past and the present. Hello? Okay. If what I saw is true, there's nothing to stand between this world and utter destruction. Only one way to find out. <laughs> Little good old-fashioned legwork. Listen, we have different styles. You're a man of action, which is fine. I take a That's what slow. I... Did you see that? That's what I want to mm. see. Did you see him? He shot oh, yeah, in yeah, his... Yeah, oh, shooting out. Yeah, and I'm like, I bet you that that's not that's a variant of him. I, the thing is, is that Loki is such a powerful wizard. Oh, he's mm -hmm. the most powerful wizard in Asgard. It's our sorcerer yeah. in Asgard. And Asgard, yeah. So you get what I'm saying about the character. I just wanted to see more, more. Anyway, oh, deliberate yeah. cerebral approach. It's really good. Bye. It's up to us. Save this place. Is this cracked? Yes, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I love the comedy. Owen Wilson is great too. Yeah. We are gods. That looked sinister. There was Ravona. But how do you choose? Who lives? And who dies? Oh. Make the hard choice. And then there's that after credit scene. You better run! War is on its way. Come on, you're the god of mischief. There you go. Always have been. Always will be. See? A little over the top, don't you think? I thought it was spot on. <laughs> Ooh. Who was that in the box? Uh, let's check that out. Yeah, we, great thing about being live, we can... And it's my show, so we can do whatever we want. <laughs> I'm just going to start. No, but you see... You, it's, notice, you notice the uh, clerk from the first season, and he's like in some sort of prisoner outfit. Oh, I don't know who that is. Yeah. You see, wait, when did, where was the clerk? Uh, that that was further back, and it, he was moving through an alleyway, and he was the guy that um, Loki kept trying to steal the time stones from, and yeah, he was yeah. using them as paperweights. But but he was in like a prison outfit. There we go. Is he in a prison outfit, or is it just like a really dirty? Either I mean, like he, as if he's gone underground or something. Something like like a worker outfit. I guess like a like a sewer. He's but like he, in a, he look he looks could, terrified. <laughs> I mean, it could it could he could very well be. You know what he might be? Do you remember they talked about this is spoilers for the first season? But I mean, if you're watching this, you know, um, uh, they talked about how they're all variants. It could be that mm -hmm. this is one of his variants because then we have yeah. this lady then we have this lady. This is obviously yeah. a variant. Yes, of he her. was the security, the security uh, chief or whatever. Yeah. So. Um, yeah, so, so my big, my big, and I, and I said this beginning, you know, I, 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 I didn't dislike the first season. My big criticism of it though, is that you just didn't get, you know, you know what it is? Do you remember the first Thor movie? Mm -hmm. Most of it is him just on earth and he's not Thor. Like he's not, 
I don't know what you'd ca- call it, but he's not thawing around. You know, he's not using his yeah. powers basically. That's yeah. So I like the first Thor movie because it's like, uh, like I mean, I thought it was okay because it's like, oh, it's the story and all that stuff. The story is cool. I would like to see more action. That's kind of what we're getting here. It's like the first season. I, I liked the story. It was okay. I was kind of dissatisfied. I like I did. I disliked that there was less action. You'd see Loki with less power. I think that he was really overshadowed by um, what is her name? The other Loki, the female Loki variant, and that's kind of a typical thing right now in Hollywood. Now it's just like I, I really wanted to see him do some more stuff, um, and it looks like they're starting yeah, I was, to. I was more excited to see the different variants of Loki because once you yeah. introduce the fact that there's going to be more than one type of something, then yeah. it's like, oh, I want to see these things, and then you even get these small, funny little nods towards all these, you know, one-off shoot uh, Marvel deals like croaky and throg and all that yeah. kind of stuff and yeah and they're talking you know the alligator it's just so yes. funny yeah well, but I, I think, think i think tom hiddleston he, he's he's embodied loki since the beginning he's yeah. he's played this character you know to the point where this character is him and everything he's done i i've always been happy with how he, he's done this and to me, like this brings a lot more intrigue and suspense and um, it kind of like that. Um, what do you call it? Like that you think some evil stuff is going on in it, underneath the surface yeah. and all that stuff like yeah. this hit, hit the nail on the head with all of that. Whereas, um, you know, the, the recent scroll deal with Samuel Jackson, you know, that that series, it completely missed that mark. I, I'm going to tell you. I haven't seen it. I see it right here. I haven't seen it yet because I was on vacation. We're we're gonna have, maybe I'll interview you about it. We'll we'll have, we'll get together and talk about. It. I don't know. Yeah, they, they I'm, pull in all that that kind of like that paranoia and fear of like yeah. oh my god, there's like some crazy hand you know puppeting everything that's yeah. going on, and you're trying to go on this journey and and find yeah. out who's doing it and. You know, now that everything's unraveled, you you can even see like the records are unraveling. Time is getting pulled apart. Like mm-hmm. it's crazy. Yeah. So I'm I'm very excited to see where this goes. So I think that people who I think definitely think that so people like me who wanted to see a little bit more, a couple of different things in the first season are going to be satisfied because it looks like they're trying to lean into that and go, hey, look, we did what we did in the first season. Let's improve upon it with you know with some of these things that people. Some more of these things that people wanted, so that's going to be cool. Uh, we've yeah. got about a minute and I ten. Loki, oh, go I was, I was say, I think I think Loki in the MCU, you know, he's he's missed that that all powerful god, you know, the mm-hmm. that kind of image. But he's definitely grown as a superhero character, as, as mm-hmm. anyone in the MCU. I think he's done the most character growth of yeah. you know being like too cocky so he doesn't need to do any of that and then slowly being like okay i need to invest in myself who i am and and start doing these things yeah all right one second so we've got uh and i agree with you on all of that we've got about 30 seconds left let me just look at some of these comments real quick before we go to intermission so no matter what happens in the mcu will uh, loki will always be there yeah basic basically he's been killed multiple times now i think the thing that excites me the most about this trailer is seeing loki using his powers again yes as well as how similar he's becoming to loki from loki agents of asgard series if you haven't read it loki pretty much becomes a secret agent for asgard and uses all his powers to keep the nine rounds safe it's awesome and it definitely gives off mission impossible vibes cannot wait for season two yeah, people are looking uh, looking like they're really liking this one, so go check it out uh, October 6th. We've got an, mm-hmm. an ad coming up, so we're going to go to intermission and see you after these short messages. Don't forget to check me out on Twitch and join the Discord where you can voice chat with me while a live stream and you won't be recorded or anything on YouTube and Twitch, so that's pretty cool. You can also find me on Facebook and Instagram. If you like to read, you can see my after-action reports on my blog. And if you are interested, you can get some merch from my Spring Store. The links for everything are in the description below.